Hello my peeps. I just wanted to do a little video today <clears throat> and um, show you something that I have been meaning to show you for a while. We kind of had them at our spring extravaganza. It's a new product that Stampin' Up! came up with in our, um, in our catalog. I'm also doing it today because my computer is being a brat. And while the camera and like just the standalone stuff is fine, anything on the internet is just not working. It's lagging behind. It's not opening properly. It's Oh, it's giving me some grief. So, in the off chance that I, between the heat and the computer, lose my patience and can't go live later, at least I'll have a video to show you. So what I wanted to show you was the new mix and match. Now this is right at the beginning of the catalog. It's a new catalog. Uh, again, mine is coiled. The annual catalog is not normally coiled. So, they've done a bunch of really cool things in here. And they, they're trying to make it easier for, especially if you're a new crafter, to kind of figure out Okay, where do I start? So one of the things they did was some of the top 10 things that you need. And this is me down in the corner. Not literally me, but figuratively me. So I'm here to help. So if you need help, by all means ask. Um, but it's just some of the basics. And then it kind of starts you off with a really, um, it's not, I, and you know, I was gonna say a really simple way to make cards. It, it's, it can be. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell you when you when we get to mind what I did and why I thought um, there's a couple different experiences though So there's this one where it's like a, a, some starter stuff. You just put them on they're very quick cards to make once you get over yourself They're very quick to make I'll explain that um, and then there's like you can have kits or you can have sweets and it gets more elaborate as you go through So right at the beginning it's a good place to start Right the beginning is a very good place to start That's part of uh, something one of the songs in sound of music Sorry, I hear music in my head all the time Okay, so what's involved in mix and match? <clears throat> there are two sets of card bases and envelopes. And I will show you them because I have both of them. So each one of them has five cards, five envelopes. Cards are patterned, envelopes are patterned. Um, none of them are the same. So like there's five different patterns in this one and five different patterns in this one. This one is called Sunny Springs and it's more bold and, and florally, I guess. Florally, floral. And then this one is Calming Creek and it is a little more muted, a little more pattern. Um, I don't know. They're, a cup, they're, they're fun to use. I don't know if there's a, I don't even know if I have a preference. I was going to say I do, but I don't know. I had so much fun once I got going. And then there are four ephemera packs. And people have said, sorry, I'm having a hard time making my catalog stand where it's supposed to. Um, have said many different things. I googled. And as far as I can tell by Googling, the word is ephemera. <laughs> um, and it just means cutouts. It's like an artist term and it's, you know, sort of like pre-done die cuts to supplement a project or I don't know, whatever the definition I found was. Now there's a couple stamp sets at the beginning. This one here that says simply said, it's, is what it's called, um, has happy birthday, thanks, let's celebrate, like some really basic stamps that you could use. Um, I'm not even sure... I'll have to look. I can't remember now. I'm not even sure if I use these on my cards at the time that I made them. My challenge was I got these two packs of cards and I got one of each of these was how many cards can I make? <laughs> <clears throat> so the cards came in a different pack. There, I've, I've used all of them so I can't show you them. So the ephemera ones, they just come like in a little cellophane package. And each one of them has eight cards in it. Sorry, I'm trying to get one out here. Each one has eight sheets in it, I should say, not cards. So there's two of each. So what I did is I took one of each sheet and I popped all the pieces out and I put it in a pile. Well, I ended up putting them all in here together. But I did that with all four of the packages. So then I have like 10 cards and just a pile of pieces. And so at first it was just, there was so much, right? Like I was just like, oh my God, I don't even know where to start. There's so many things. Um, and yeah, so I don't know that I would recommend that as being the way to do it, but certainly open the packages, have them out. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. So certainly open them, have a little look-see, and maybe you don't want all of the packages. I'm going to show you, because in the catalog you can kind of see, but not like super easy. Um, I'm just trying to find what I did with my piece of cardboard. You know what, maybe I'll use the binder. Because then the white will show up better. Um, yeah, you may not need every one of the packages, but um, this way at least you can see what's in them. So this one is called Say Something. 
and as the as the um, title alludes to it's all sentiments and they all just pop out good vibes happy day thinking of you here's to you this one here that says heck yeah um <laughs> yeehaw what a joyous occasion forever and ever better days ahead bunches of thanks like there's all sorts of sentiments in there then there's oh that's not gonna work very well is it then there's this one here it's a minute which has the die cut words i didn't take them out yet um because then they catch on each other so good luck today hip hip hooray celebrate congrats oh hey wishes birthday right and, and use them in combination with various different things as you will see this one is some more die cuts um ahoy howdy hello hey love you happy friend thanks beautiful for you i'm not gonna read every one of those but those ones don't have as much and then these ones are less are like more different shapes or not the other one the first one with all the things were all like strips these ones are more shapes uh but again icing on the cake all my love and thanks paper hug world needs more people like you like there's just so many you're also so many different ones so that is say something I'm going to just leave these like this for now and try a different method. Okay, so the next one is called Labels and Layers. So this one's a little bit easier. Um, I didn't pop them out, but I think you can get a good enough idea. These ones look like little file cards. These two are my favorite. The other ones are just kind of label shaped. These ones look more like, um, like a swash of paint. And some different label shapes. This, I love this one with this simple black and white. Uh, there's another one. This one has some tags, some circles, a whole bunch of different ones. There's a ton of pieces in each one of these packs. And then these ones have lots of like patterns and floral, and these are fl little flags. So that is labels and layers. The next one, okay, so the next ones, those are like your builder ones, right? <laughs> your labels and your words. <clears throat> the next ones are more the image ones. So this is something for... Something for everything. You know what? I always thought it said something for everyone. Something for everything. So yeah, lots of cute little different pictures in it. And these are the, so like I said, this, these are the four sheets that I'm showing you. But each one of these sheets I'm showing you, you get two of. There's eight in a pack. So when you see how much I had left over and how many cute cards I made. Um, yeah, you can make a ton. Oops. So the way I picked that up. I didn't pick it up very carefully and I just popped my little hot air balloon out. Um, I would recommend, and so I have mine in just one of our stamp cases, right? You can buy extra stamp cases. And I have all of them in, in one of them. Um, because they do, the more you manhandle these pieces of cardstock, the more the little die cuts start popping out. So I would keep them in something. If you want to be crazy like me and pop them all out of the racks and mix and match them because you don't care which one came from which pack, then just do that and put them in a container an adventure uh this one is called fully flowering and as you can guess it's flowers flowers and foliage you guys know the difference between floral and foliage i used to use them kind of interchangeably sometimes and then the one day i thought are they interchangeable and i actually googled it now i know the difference um i also want to tell you i love these black and white ones just as black and white and there's one on each sheet but also you can take one of the numerous methods we have of coloring and color them if you want to and then the last one so those are all the little floor what did i say fully flowering so those are the four ephemera packs and like i said there's probably all sorts of different methods of how you can start um if you get the stamp set like maybe you don't want to get the one with the words on it and you just want to get like a simple stamp set or you have a stamp set and this is just to give you um images to go with it there you go you, you can just you can do so much stuff with them so that was half so this is like half of each pack in here the other half i used to make cards and i'm gonna move this stuff out of the way and then what's left <laughs> is all in here and i mean i was mixing and matching from each pack um, I did make a couple, because once I ran out of um, the original 10 card bases, um, and actually one of the card bases made three cards, four cards out of it, um, 
I just started adding like card bases and note cards. So I'm going to, in no particular order, I'm going to show you. So that, yeah, these ones are note card size. Good luck. Little bulldog. So this is, there's no stamping on this one. I did use a stamp so that I look at the next card. I can tell. This is all just little things from the different packs. Uh, this one is the same, or the thing from like one of the ephemera pieces, but then I just, very simple, happy birthday. Now when I was making these cards, my, my point was to just use the cards and the ephemera packs. And, and you'll see on some of the other ones, there are little bits and pieces in the ephemera packs. Um, here I'm trying to find something that matches and there's I mean it was just my own like self-inflicted <laughs> rule that I made that I was going to just use what was in the packs there's no law saying you can only use what's in the packs so I like this very simple card and I would like this very simple card even more if it had and now that I've I'm showing you what I'm doing I can I can do whatever I want I'm gonna put just a little bit of those those are the in color resin dots that are so awesome. Um, there's nothing saying you can't put like a little bit of confetti on it, <laughs> right? But I was, I made these with the intent to show you just what like you could do with just what was on this page is what the goal was. Um, and so I broke it by adding in note cards and stuff. So like I said, do it, do what you want, but just know that even if you don't have a lot of stuff to start with, and I was using like, I use bits from the stickers and like I still decorated the insides and the envelopes. But look how pretty that card is, right? Little stamp from the stamp set. This was one of the frames. Um, and so some of them are sticker sheets and some of them are just, I think the frames might have been, I can't remember now. Or no, none of them are stickers. They're all just ephemera. Um, but when you pop them out, you can also, if like if there was a picture on the inside, sometimes you can cut out what's left around the edge and make little frames out of it and pop something up in the middle. And Oh, I just realized I... Apparently, I thought that needed a piece of twine because I put twine on it. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards. Oh, I just love the way this turned out. Um, one, two, three, four, five pieces on it. So, and it's just a little note card. Look how awesome it is. And it says, smooth sailing and sunny skies. Love it. Okay. I still have this many more. Um, I will show you. So I told you I just, like, opened all the packages and went, okay, what am I going to do now? Um... The catalog is not just a catalog. Hey, what can I buy? The catalog is also an idea book, right? And you can see on this page, I've got things in my hands. I'm trying to figure out how to hold everything and keep it steady. There's all sorts of samples, right? Um, one of the things they did when they made this new catalog actually is make the pictures bigger so people could see better detail of stuff and more samples. So there's like actually less product in here, bigger pictures, more samples. But in this particular section, there are pages of samples, <laughs> right? Like this is like just a whole bunch more. And then I, forgot, I didn't look ahead. Then I can't turn the page. There we go. Oh, there we go. It is on the next page. And then um, this is like some stuff about color, like designing cards and colors and stuff. But, but then there's also at the bottom of this page, two, two, four, six, eight. 12, 24, I think, um, card layouts. So even if you don't like one of the samples above, you can just take like this and go, okay, I'm going to make this card. I need three little, um, maybe I should put that closer so you can actually see it. <laughs> so, I'm going to make uh, three more, three shapes like this, and then one, maybe one round sentiment, or I'm going to use this one, or, oh, look, a bunch of little guys and one in the, right? There's so many ideas that you can get out of here. So when I did start, because I had so many things, I'm like, okay, just make a card and start. And once I made the first card, then the rest of them I just was off and running. But I had to get that first card because, like I said, I had I put so many things in front of myself. Now one of the things I do all the time, and I kick myself for it, but this time, this time I actually did it, is I'll see a card in the catalog and go, oh, I like that card, and then never make it. I get the set and I go, what else can I make? But I mean, I loved this card when I saw it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start with it. Now, as is typical Tracy, I did not make it exactly like I, the thing said to. I used the same card base. Um, oh, I did use the same sentiment piece, like this little white flag with, you can't see it really well. There's little like hashtags on it, but or not hashtags, hash marks. Um, I used a different sentiment, but I did put that there. So I used a tape writer. This is actually the same pot 
I just didn't like that plant. I wanted a bigger plant and the one that was more in color with this. Um, cause when I added the books, the other green was just the wrong color. So I cut the other one off. I cut this one off of something else and just made a little slit in the pot and stuck it in. So I repot, I repot it. Um, I added a heart, I added the books and I didn't put the little stars. Right. And honestly, I'd put, I would put a couple black embellishments on it to finish it off. <laughs> so that's all I did. I got an idea to here and I made it the way I wanted to because that's how it works. So there we go. One more card. So there's, here's my note cards. I'll give you the idea of what's going on here. I could have made more. Um, I was limited at this point. I was limited by time and I needed some samples. And at a certain point it was like, okay, it's, we can move on to the next project. Um, one of the other ones, and it was one of the last cards I made, actually, it just happens to be next in the line, but I do know it was one of the last ones. There was one in here that looked somewhat like it. It just had a bunch of sentiments on it. I don't know where it is. Um, and so I just went, oh, okay. So I just took like a ton of what was left <laughs> and just put it all on a white card base. Oh, that's what I meant to tell you. So this is one of the, this is where I told you there was a subtle one and a brighter one. This is one of the subtle ones. So that's one of the card bases. That's just a plain card base. This is another card base. So the card bases are two-sided, but they're white on the inside. So there's another one, and this is just a couple pieces. The one from the 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 word one, and one from the something for every one, everything, right? So that's two. So then the next card base was this blue um, kind of plaid-looking thing. So I took it and I cut it in half and I cut it, trimmed it a little bit to make this card. And I took the other half and I trimmed it and I did just flip this one fish over. And if you look really close, you can see he's upside down. But really, if somebody's upside down in life, shouldn't you tell them that you're here for them? So it kind of worked for me. And I did break my own embellishment rule on this one because I felt the fish needed bubbles. Because if he was upside down without bubbles. <laughs> um, so, but at first glance, it just looks like two fish friends, right? So there's, there's another half of the card. Um, here is just some regular card bases, a card base and a layer that I had. There's another little chunk off of this same card base. And then I just added some of the ephemera. And this one's pre-printed. I didn't have a stamp for that. That was one of the pre-printed ones. And here, I love this card. Um, and here's three more pieces off of that. So that, four cards. So I basically have like that one card base cut up and put into four different cards. But these are all just pieces of that and one little simple stamp from the stamp set this this might be my favorite so this is one of the other card bases and at first I struggled with the color and I was like Ooh, what am I gonna do and then I added this I gotta get low enough I added this little desert scene one of the little cactus from there and a happy birthday pre-printed and uh, absolutely love this card so that's another card base here's one of the floral card bases uh, another one from the floor. I'm trying to keep track of which ones are which, like for the five. This is the floral one. This one was another one. It was a little bit bright. And at first I was like, hmm, but I grabbed a few things, threw them on, put a little black and white. If all else fails, if something is too bright or too busy, black and white, put up something black and white and tone it down. It's, I don't know. It's magic. Um, there's another one of the floral ones. Okay. So I think this one came out of this so there's one two three four and then this one it actually came out of the more subtle ones I think that's I think the five card bases there and then these ones and then this is the last of the floral ones and it looks busy in this picture as I look at it but in person it's not that bad I do have a strip behind here and if I wanted to even just adding like the white circle like one of our spotlight on nature dies or because I always have something just like even just a white circle behind there would break up a little bit of that pattern, but it's not as bad in person as it looks on camera. So look at all the cards I made. I mean, they're awesome, right? They're, they're just, they're fun cards. They got little things. This one says, thanks. You make life so rosy with some little roses, right? And most of these, I think all of these ones you can see here, um, that one I did stamp on. So yeah, these ones though, they're all just made with stuff from the inside the kit right? Uh, it's, it's awesome. It's a fun thing to play with. I highly recommend you give it a try. And so while it is intended <laughs> maybe to be like a starting point and a beginner stamping thing, it is no by, me, by no means limited 
I had a blast. I don't consider myself a beginner stamper. I had a blast playing with these things. Um, it would be great, especially if you're like if you're traveling or something. Take some card bases. Take some just note cards. Like a, a package of note cards. There's 20 note cards. Note cards are mailable, at least in Canada they are. I don't know about anywhere else. But the size is just... I like to do this too because I don't... Here, I'll use this because it will show better. I don't know if people realize. Note cards aren't that much smaller. They're like, give or take, this one's a little bit bigger. Um, this is about a half an inch. This is about three quarters of an inch. So they're just like slightly smaller than a regular card. And uh, yes, you could mail them. So um, take a pack of 20 card bases or take... Some of these packs of these five cards take a bunch of just plain white bases if you want full-size cards and some envelopes buy some ephemera packs and away you go i had i'm not even sure if i use my white glue on any of these my tombow uh glue dots i always use glue dots dimensionals and i think my tear and tape so i took some glue with me and maybe a pokey tool your um stick your nose tool <laughs> um but i always can never remember the name of because i got that take your pick tool and away you go, right? This is great to take with you on a, if you're traveling or going out to the lake, going on holidays or something. Pile it all into a little piece. So again, mix and match. New product in this new annual catalog that just came out in May. And I highly recommend it. So if you do make some, I would love to see them. Um, I did take pictures of all of these. Um, I sent anybody who came to our spring extravaganza, I've sent the link. But um, I just put them all on a Pinterest page. Um, so they're easy to find so you don't have to try to take pictures and I will post that link um, in the replay when I post this video whatever that is um, if you have any questions let me know I hope you have fun and uh, yeah if you do I'd love to see some pictures of what you come up with all right thanks everyone take care bye